Cody Rhodes will be in WWE for a while longer as he signed a new contract with the company in October, according to our very own Dave Meltzer. The news comes on the heels of a Fightful report that WWE was looking to sign Cody Rhodes to a new deal eminently as it was a priority for the TKO leadership. The length and financial terms of the new contract is unknown, but Meltzer said it was a similar timing situation to Charlotte Flair, where it was learned this month she signed a new contract months prior. After co-founding AEW in 2019, Cody Rhodes announced in February 2022 that he and his wife Brandy would not be returning to the company. He then signed with WWE and made his return after six years away, defeating Seth Rollins at April's WrestleMania after being revealed as a surprise opponent. Since returning to WWE, Cody Rhodes has won the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match and then headlined WrestleMania but was unable to wrest the undisputed WWE Universal title from Roman Reigns in Los Angeles. He also missed considerable time due to a torn pectoral muscle. Cody has already declared himself for the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble match in hopes of getting another title opportunity. In the new TKO era, WWE has been busy with new contracts as both Rey and Dominic Mysterio have also inked new deals. PW Insider reports that Bailey has come to terms with WWE on a new contract. It's believed to be a multi-year deal. Bailey is the current leader of the damage control in WWE. The faction also includes WWE Women's Champion Io Sky, Dakota Kai, and recent additions Kairi Sane and Asuka. WWE is sending an NXT wrestler to compete Pete for All Japan Pro Wrestling's Triple Crown Championship. All Japan Pro Wrestling has been hyping up that a mystery wrestler will challenge for the Triple Crown title at New Year Giant Series 2024 on January 3rd. In a social media video AJPW posted on Saturday, it was announced that the mystery challenger will be a wrestler from WWE NXT. The identity of the challenger was not revealed. WWE has revealed their schedule for the first week of 2024. Four. January 1st will be WWE Raw Day 1 on the USA Network. January 2nd will be NXT's New Year's Evil on USA. January 3rd will be the Best of the Bump 2023 on Peacock. January 4th will be WWE The Best of 2023 and a live WWE Preview Special 2024, both on the Peacock. And January 5th, it will be WWE SmackDown New Year's Revolution on Fox. Raw Day 1 will have a World Heavyweight title match between champion Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre, while NXT New Year's Evil will have Lyra Valkyra defending the NXT Women's Championship against Blair Davenport and NXT Champion Ilya Dragunov defending against Trick Williams. A three-way match between AJ Styles, Ali Knight, and Randy Orton was made on Friday for SmackDown's New Year's Revolution on January 5th, where the winner will face Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble on January 27th. Mustafa Ali is about to embark on a world tour. Ali's non-compete period with WWE expired this weekend, and several promotions have announced him for upcoming events. Ali teased his next steps in a social media post last week. After the clock hit 12.21 p.m. Eastern Time, Prestige, GCW, and many more companies Companies revealed that Ali had been booked for future events. Following the events of Saturday's AEW collision, Brian Danielson will face Eddie Kingston in the Continental Classic Blue League Finals on Wednesday's AEW Dynamite. The winner will advance to the tournament finals against the Gold League winner of John Moxley versus Swerve Strickland versus Jay White also taking place on Wednesday. The overall tournament winner to be decided at next Saturday's World End pay-per-view will be the new modern-day AEW Triple Crown Champion, which is the AEW Continental Championship, Ring of Honor World Championship, and the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. Danielson advanced by virtue of his draw against Claudio Castagnoli that opened the show, earning one point to give him 10 points overall, while Kingston earned his way in after pinning Andrade El Idolo in the evening main event, giving him 9 points. 
Andrade also had 9 points, but Kingston's advance due to his head-to-head -head win. Danielson defeated Eddie Kingston as part of the Blue League competition earlier this month, taunting him afterward with an Eddie is a bum sign, which was brought up on commentary. Danielson is 2-0 in AEW competition over Kingston, who is the current Ring of Honor World and New Japan Strong Openweight Champion. Katsuyuri Shibata is all elite. Tony Khan announced shortly before Saturday's collision that Shibata had signed with AEW. In his announcement, he thanked New Japan Pro Wrestling for making it happen. Shibata resumed his wrestling career in late 2022, where he began making appearances for AEW. At Supercard of Honor earlier this year, he captured the Ring of Honor Pure Championship, defeating Wheeler Yuta. On the November 25th edition of Rampage, he lost the title back to Wheeler Yuta. Hiroshi Tanahashi is the new president of New Japan Pro Wrestling. In an announcement on their website Friday evening, it was announced that the eight-time IWGP heavyweight champion has been appointed the new president and representative director of New Japan Pro Wrestling. The appointment came following a meeting of New Japan Pro Wrestling's board of directors and shareholders. Tanahashi will talk about his new role within the company at Wrestle Kingdom 8 on January 4th. A new championship has been unveiled in Ring of Honor. In a segment on Thursday's Ring of Honor TV show, company owner Tony Khan introduced the Ring of Honor Women's World Television Championship, displaying the new belt. Additionally, on a social media post, Ring of Honor heralded the new title as the start of a new chapter. No announcements were made as to when a first women's TV champion will be crowned or how the first title holder will be decided. The women's TV title will be the second women's division champion championship recognized by Ring of Honor. Athena currently holds the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship in a reign that has stretched over a full year after she defeated Mercedes Martinez at Final Battle 2022 to win the bout. Athena's most recent defense comes against Billy Starks in the main event of Final Battle 2023 last Friday. Matt Riddle is headed back to Major League Wrestling. MLW has confirmed that Riddle will face Jacob Fatu at Kings of Coliseum at Philadelphia's 2300 Arena on January 6, 2024. It will be Riddle's first match in MLW since 2018. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to F4W online and click a thumbs up on this video.